Hi, Days fans. It's Tuesday, August 10th. We just got finished watching a really good episode. Yeah. Days. I think so. So that's some really good Jam amazing packed. shit. Jam-packed. Uh, big scenes, Casey Diedrich. Um, what is his deal? Now, um, Kate says we are family under her breath, but, you know, that could still make her him a Kyriakis. Mmm, yeah. Because she is... Um, you know, kind of a Kyriakis family member still saying that she has a son that's one. But we don't think that she's Chad's mother because no. she would not be reacting like this. No, so. but she does <clears throat> feel nurturing towards him. So, is there any way that, like, Madeline's her sister? Or... It just seems like him being Stefano's or, or a spawn of Stefano... You know, Tony's or something. It's too easy. Do you see Kate already thinking about the um, Kate Demira scholarship fund for Chad? Oh, yes. Yeah. She's, She's so already like, writing the check. I thought for <clears> sure that Chad wasn't going to be able to go to Wake Forest because he was going to get cut off. Now, I don't think Chad's going to Wake Forest because that's like a month from now, and I have not heard anything about Casey no. Dietrich going anywhere. So. There's going to be a huge reveal, and he's going to be secure. Yeah. So... I like this whole idea of him and um, Will working as interns together for Demira Enterprises. And Stefano's like, no, that's not going to happen. He's the son of the DA, blah, blah, blah. But Will's going to make this happen. Oh, of course He's he going to be like, well, then I won't work for you. Who would have thought that those two would be working as interns for Stefano I know. six months ago? It's awesome. It's a great <clears throat> storyline. Chandler Massey is really stepping up to the plate here. Yeah, I like him. Um, I don't like cast changes, but the um, Matt or uh, Dylan Patton. I like Dylan Patton. I don't think he could have pulled this off. I thought he was really did a great job with the whole storyline of Grace. Um, I think that was a hard storyline for a teenager to pull off with all that sadness. But I don't know if, if... I mean, I think he could have done it, but I like what Chandler Massey's bringing yeah. to the character of Will. It's more, you know, fresh, upbeat, more similar to what a teen actually is like. Yeah, um, the other one was a little bit too emo, emo morose, yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. dark. Which uh, fit, angst. It fit what they Teenage wanted. angst. It fit what they needed at the time. But um, there have been lots of changes right now. So I want to know, I thought that this Demira storyline, like who's the daddy of Chad, was going to be more of the forefront. But Nighttime Hope seems to have gotten more of the screen time over the summer. I thought that this was going to get more screen time. So maybe it'll get more screen time in the fall when they start this internship. And that's a good segue into the ridiculous behavior of Kristen Alfonso. Oh, gosh. Take the earrings off, please. It looks ridiculous in your scene. I know that you're... And I like your earrings. I bought you a pair. Yes. And I understand what you're doing, but it looks stupid. The earrings in a jail scene are not correct. They're not technically correct, well, the and they should be off. Like, so take them off, please. Honey, I don't know. You're you, an actor, yeah. not a, an earring salesman. I don't know if you watched Hannah and I's recap yesterday. Did, you, you did, didn't you? She wears those things in every single scene. She could take them off one time for the jail scene. I You're not know. allowed to wear jewelry in jail. But I'm asking you, did you watch Hannah I watched and a portion of it. Because we talked about how they even showed her removing her jewelry except for those earrings. Now, you mentioned at one time that you would not be surprised if Ariane Zucker and um, Christian Alfonso and somebody else is starting a jewelry line. Oh, I think it's someone from Young and the Restless. Oh, they've got things in their contract that say I'm allowed to wear these whenever I want. Yeah, but do <clears> you, <throat> sa you said you thought perhaps they accepted less monetary a compensation well, for their roles in exchange for getting to promote this program. Perhaps. I don't know if it went down like that, but... They just negotiated their contract to the best deal, and they included this jewelry thing, but not in a jail scene. It looks right. ridiculous. Like, you didn't see Nicole wearing her jewelry during her jail scenes. Or Ari. Uh, um, no, but Ari doesn't sell jewelry. But she could be wearing somebody else's jewelry, like right. Sammy wears Christian Alfonso's jewelry. Mm -hmm. She's getting a cut of that, but... We just thought it was a bit much. It's That's not all. accurate. It's It's... It's poor acting, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm sorry, I love Kristen Alfonso, but 
it makes me scared for days that they're they're allowing this. Like yeah. the producer is like, this looks ridiculous, but Christian Alfonso is like, hey, I'm allowed to wear these. I gotta sell these earrings. Yeah, so. I am. I have to tell you, I don't like saying things like this because I have been reading the secret this past spring, and I really feel like what you put out there could kind of happen. But I'm a little worried about some of the stuff that's going on with days. Like, why are they firing Stacy Haydick after? one day's worth of scheduling conflict. Yeah. That smells funny. That's either, like, not the <clears throat> whole story, yeah. or she was a pain to work with, so they were looking for an out, or they needed the financial... The whole Hernandez family is on life support, if you ask I me. Know. Lindsay Harley's gone. Uh, Gabby, what, I mean, we don't need her anymore. I'm did sorry. They already, I thought they already fired Gabby. I thought I already posted Oh, did they? Oh, okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. So Gabby's gone. Next is going to be Gail and Gary. Yeah, Gabby's been recast, though. Oh, my God. So, Gail and might not go anywhere, because mm. they're bringing in someone new for Gabby. Oh, okay. So, Sammy I, accepts. Oh, yeah. Sammy accepts. I had to tell Runs you. Runs into Rafe. I knew that was coming. Awkward. Because somebody <laughs> sent me an email or something, but I still was shocked when she said yes. And, yeah, well, yes, what? and then EJ immediately wants to tell people, and she's like, no, 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 let's keep it a secret. So, she's, like, and still like not happy about it. Yeah, as he should be. I mean, he was so good. He's like, yes, yes. Yes, you want to share that information. No, she wants to, like, no. once it's out of the bottle, we can't stuff it back in, you know. Yeah, well, you know what? I think EJ's right. I think they should have told the kids right then and there. She but did. she wanted to tell <clears throat> Will first is what was really going on. She didn't want the twins to come running in the house and oh. tell Will and him be like, what? Anyway, those two deserve each other. They're both lying all the they, well, he even said something like that, like... Oh, I love your quirkiness, how you perceive the world and all this. Yeah, how you look at the world. And yeah. she's like, what was that? Mean? Yeah, Rafe doesn't. Rafe wants me perfect. You don't. You'll accept me. That nice work, Yeah, EJ. EJ, you not only make her feel like you accept her the way she is, but you make her feel like her um, poor... Uh, personality qualities. We all have things we'd like to work out a little more. I wish he had, sn you know, he was telling her, oh, I forgive you about when you uh, kept the baby away from me. And that means you're probably going to forgive me when I uh, tell you I kidnapped our baby and I faked know. her death. What? I, I so <laughs> think. He should have slipped that into the contract and got it over like, with. Listen, listen. <laughs> Don't worry about all that. Because you remember when you found those bloody clothes in the river? I think it was Sorry. Yeah. But, moving on, that man could do no wrong as long as he follows it up with, May I kiss the bride? That was so hot. <laughs> I'm still waiting for JV to act out the scenes where oh, he where said... Oh, I'm going to love you until the very last breath comes out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, I've been wanting to hear those okay. words. All right. And that may be in front of the whole Days Talk audience. Maybe with a little romance. All right. Now, honey, I'm not asking you to pretend to be James Scott or anything, so don't get excited. Okay, let's talk about Ari and... Did we talk about Ari's... No. Anger. That was... Anger. I hope. thought those were the best scenes yes. Lindsay Hartley has had. And there's nothing that brings out the best in an actress than getting canned. I mean, I tell you, they always pull out the stops after that. And I don't blame them, don't we all? But she did good. She did well. Yeah. And Hope was looking. I don't know what they did to that beautiful woman, but they have got her looking, you know, aside from the earrings, like she's really distraught in jail. Yeah, the, that's what bothers me is the makeup and the hair was perfect. She looked like crap, as she's supposed to in yes, jail. Yes, yes. We're not saying she does. But when they would pan from Lindsay Hartley, who's now happy out of jail, going back and forth, it was, it was noticeable. But yeah. damn, she really took her to task. Like... And when she's talking to Rafe and when um Lin not Lindsay um Ariana's talking to Rafe and Gabby and saying, um, yeah, there's something missing. Uh, this cop arrested me, <laughs> yeah. framed, framed me, framed me, and I didn't <clears throat> even get so much as a, I'm sorry. And if she hadn't like gotten pushed so far over the edge, I'd be in jail for the rest of my life. There's no pill that can make you that evil unless you had it inside oh, yeah. of you. That's what everybody's getting to now. Yeah. And this, I always say this, like when people are like, oh, I was drinking. Yes, you may say things when you're drinking that you would not have said, but I don't really believe they come out of nowhere. No, but if you talk to a shrink, we should get your media family members involved in this. There's some oh, it and ego and the, it or whatever where you're not... Um, my brother's <laughs> just going to be waiting by the phone so that he can analyze Days of Our Lives psychoses for us. 
but he can give us a psychiatric <laughs> explanation of what, I, yeah, I'm sure he's gonna of what's going right on. That. That, you know, <laughs> that's right up his alley. Maybe my other brother would do it. Anywho, um, what, what else? else did we have? We had the Sammy proposal. The Casey down. And, well, Casey's the the well, intern of the year. Uh, well, he had the big discussion with Stefano. He's yeah. he is raking Stefano over the coals, and Stefano runs away like a little girl. In case like you're scared of a little boy or a boy. Yeah, yeah. My God, what trying. are you hiding? And then Ch or, um, Will is all like taking Stefano to task, like, um, so why are you running? Yeah. And he's like, oh, sorry, I guess I shouldn't talk to you like you're my mom, but it just seems kind of weird, and um. Oh, Will was telling Chad it seems like he wanted to be in as most possible pain as he could. Well, yeah, he feels guilty. He feels like it was his fault. His dad's trying to send him away forever. Was it in the previews that EJ, or uh, Rafe overhears EJ telling Stefano that uh, him and Sammy are... Is that <clears throat> the previews? No, it wasn't. The previews was when uh, Rafe goes to Sammy, so I heard the big news. Sammy does... Th let's talk about those fantasies. Oh, yeah, like, okay... I like the line when EJ says, you know, your mouth says no, but your eyes say yes. And I'm like, thank you, because it's so conflicting. But she that was, wasn't a fantasy, it was, or was it? The Galen yes. stuff was fantasy. Oh, Our, that was too? I got a little No, confused. no, that happened. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, she acts like so in love with EJ when they're kissing and everything else, but yet she's still fantasizing about Rafe. So what is it? Does she love them both? I don't get it. Yeah, I just when you it. think that she's totally into EJ, she has those Rafe fantasies, and then I'm like, I'm so and confused. Then when she's talking Who does she really love? She really loves Rafe. Rafe is like that's people out there are Sammy. clicking the video off right now. Yeah, we're, we're gonna. Sorry, we just lost half our audience. <laughs> I don't know that. I'm telling you, I think the writers have this all wishy washy because I feel like she loves EJ, and wants to be with him, but now all these fantasies. <clears throat> but they love conf they love making conflicted actors. Yeah, they do this, man. Nobody can ever really be happy, and they do stuff that you just don't buy. Like. Nick is conflicted on yes, Young and the I Restless. Yeah, I was just going to say, this whole Sharon and Nick and Adam on Young and the Restless, for those of you who watched, now we've just lost another 20 minutes yeah. of our review. <laughs> but if for a million years, now that Nick and Sharon are both single, does anyone believe she really wants to be with Adam? No. All right, I said my piece. Raise your hand, put it in the comments if you want JB and I to do a recap of Young and the Restless this weekend, because why well, not? What the hell? Okay, I think we covered everything. All righty. A couple of watches stays together. Stays together.